Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Real quick update. I don't even want to go into the studio. I'm probably not going to edit much out of this one take. Chip Roy, a, uh, a representative, U.S. House of Representatives from Texas, has, has introduced a new bill to close the loophole in the National Firearms Act. I'm going to put this on screen here. It says on Tuesday, Representative Chip Roy, alongside more than 20 colleagues, introduced the No Backdoor Gun Control Act. This legislation would remove any other weapon, or AOWs, from the definition of a firearm under the National Firearms Act, ensuring that the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, ATF, could not use the AOW section to violate Americans' Second Amendment rights. This is especially important should legislation that removes short-barreled rifles and short-barreled shotguns, SBRs and SBSs, from the NFA be enacted. Closing this loophole is an important step toward reigning in the ATF. Representative Chip Roy had this to say, Bearing arms in self-defense is a human right. It is evident from the ATF's behavior that under Joe Biden's De Department of Justice, the agency is hell-bent on attacking the Second Amendment through every means at its disposal. I am grateful for my colleagues' work in Congress to remove short-barreled rifles and short-barreled shotguns from regulation under the National Firearms Act. However, should that legislation be successful in doing so, the NFA's Any Other Weapon provision would still allow an anti-gun administration to use the ATF to unilaterally regulate these firearms and, more importantly, target their owners. The No Backdoor Gun Control Act would close this notable loophole and help protect law-abiding gun owners. Now, my friend Aiden Johnson, who's the Director of Federal Affairs of Gun Owners of America, said this. The federal government has no business taxing and registering privately owned firearms with a catch-all term like any other weapon or AOW. With the Biden administration weaponizing definitions from the Draconian National Firearms Act of 1934 to ban as many as 40 million lawfully acquired guns like AR-15s, Representative Chip Roy's repeal of federal AOW regulations could not come at a better time. The No Backdoor Gun Control Act would remove AOWs from the definition of a firearm under the NFA. It would ensure that AOW owners are treated as having met requirements of state licensing laws that reference the NFA. And they would require the Department of Justice destroy any AOW registration records. <laughs> yeah, like all the other ones that should have destroyed. But the point is, this is looking to start the process of dismantling the NFA. Now, this legislation is co-sponsored by the following. Daniel Webster of Florida, Lauren Boebert of Colorado, Tom Tiffany of Wisconsin, Louis Gomert of Texas, Ted Budd of North Carolina, Dan Crenshaw of Texas, Marjorie Taylor Green, Georgia, uh, Ken Buck of Colorado, Michael Cloud, Texas, Matt Rosendale, Montana, Jody Heist, Georgia, Ralph Norman, South Carolina, Scott Perry, Pennsylvania, Alex Mooney, West Virginia, Randy Weber, Texas, Diana Harshbarger, Tennessee, Jeff Duncan, South Carolina, Bob Good, Virginia, Jeff Van Drew, New Jersey, Thomas Massey, Kentucky, Michelle Fishback in Minnesota, and Mary Miller. So this is a first step at dismantling the NFA and getting rid of the AOW clause. And I do know that there was a GOA bill submitted to take SBRs and SBSs out of the NFA. Ain't going anywhere this year, but it's still a solid bill that hopefully we get the right personnel in for uh, this rhino hunting season in uh, the elections this year, and we can change things. Solid move. Let me know what you think about it down below. Sorry, not a big uh, technical uh, video. I'm beat. I'm exhausted, and we have 11 inches of snow coming tomorrow, so I'm going to try to hit the rack early because i got to get up and start removing snow. To see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun, and keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Guys and gals, I live each and every single one of you. Gun on your hip is much more effective than a cop on the phone. I'll see you in the morning. Take care, everybody.